evening. War takes a toll in so many ways, some visible, some not. Today, the Pentagon released a survey that paints a troubling picture of the mental toll on U.S. troops after four years of combat. Jonathan Carl at the Pentagon points out this report reflects soldiers and Marines themselves talking about their state of mind toward Iraqi civilians. John, good evening. Charlie, the Pentagon calls this a groundbreaking survey. For the first time, the military has taken a comprehensive look at both the mental toll of combat and the ethics of the troops on the battlefield. The results are profoundly disturbing. Long deployments in combat have taken an obvious physical and mental toll. Hey, you got him! The survey shows combat has also blurred the distinction between wrong and right. One out of ten troops surveyed said they had personally mistreated Iraqi civilians, either hitting and kicking or stealing property. Only 40% of Marines said they would report a fellow Marine who had killed or seriously wounded an Iraqi civilian. And more than one-third said torture should be allowed to get information from insurgents. It would be complete insanity. Sergeant Patrick Campbell told us today he's not surprised by the numbers. He's lived them. He says in Iraq, he came under attack 16 times. I saw this IED go off, so we get out of the Humvee, and I go to the closest car, and I take the driver by his, by his neck and drag him out of the car. It turns out this 70-year-old man that I just pulled through the window, head on the ground, and I'm being rough with him. And I'm thinking to myself, how did I just do that? I didn't know I was capable of something like that. But just the frustration and anger had me so mad that I was I just, you know, I was on mission. I needed to do what I needed to do. Sergeant Campbell has suffered from nightmares, anger, and self-destructive behavior since returning home. He's among the nearly 20% of Iraq vets with those symptoms. Mental problems are most common for those who have been in Iraq the longest. The Army Surgeon General today recommended less time in combat, more time at home. Shorter deployments or longer intervals between deployments would allow soldiers and Marines better opportunities to reset mentally before returning to combat. But the Army itself just announced it's moving in the opposite direction, extending tours of duty in Iraq from 12 months to 15 months. Longer tours, Charlie, that will almost certainly mean more mental health problems.